Good morning, YouTube! Welcome back to the Adventurer's Tome Guide. I am Aegis, and today we're going to be continuing with part three of our journey through this massive continent. Now, we last left off in Rania Village, and today we'll be continuing on into the Parna Forest. Now, this is a long, drawn-out zone with a rather tricky number of quests which we need to complete in detail, so it's actually going to take quite a bit longer than many of the other zones that we've done previously. But in any case, let's jump right into it. Okay, in the part of forest now. First off, right here in the corner and up this tree is a Makoko seed. Now that we've grabbed that, we're going to head out of town. Now I should mention that Elder Baloo here does give Probing Goblin Village, which is another story part two. You're going to need to complete every single yellow quest in the zone effectively in order for him to give you that mission. We'll come to that in a little bit though. But for now, we're going to head out east up this cliff here. There's cooking ingredient number two. Make sure you examine it again to grab a second one. And we're going to continue on to the east. And there's a moco seed right there. All right, a few more things to grab down here. Elite monster number two is just up ahead. There it is right there. And one last moco seed all the way in the dead end down here. All right, from there, we can triport back to the village. Got a bunch more things to grab. So once again, head back up the cliff. And this time, instead of heading east, we're going to continue on south. We've got Vista 4 right here. And another Moco Seed right here. And from there, we can continue to head on south. Up and around this way is one more Moco. Right here in the corner. And a bit further south is another Elite. And Hidden Story number 3. There's the Elite right there. And there's another Moko. All right, last thing to grab in this section is hidden story number three. There's the first part right there. And no need to mount up here. Part two is right here. And part three is right around the corner up by this tree. All right, with that out of the way, we can try port back to Parna's Sanctum. And this time we're gonna head west, but once again, make sure that you are doing any yellow quests in the zone that you have not completed already. It will make it much easier to finish off another story part two in a little bit. But in any case, heading southwest over here, we're gonna come up to elite monster number three, right here. And from there, we can continue on southwest. And all the way down and around in this section over here, we're gonna come to a moco seed and elite number four. There's the Moko right there. And Elite 4 is just up here. That tiny slime right there. All right, we can take this triport now. Bunch more things to grab real quick. First off, one Moko just down here. And mounting up now. We've got a ton of things to grab in the top portion of this area. First off, kill everything around here. And you're going to examine these brushes right here. We find a hiding goblin. Now you're going to follow him, and he's going to take us to a hidden area with a couple hidden moco seeds. Right here. And here. And climb back down now and continue on. Down the cliff and over this fallen tree here. We're going to head into this corner next. There's going to be another secret area with a couple hidden moco seeds. That will finish off the mocos for this zone. And right here, examine these mushrooms. And we can now use this hidden jump point. And just keep on following the pathway all the way over. There's a moco seed right there. And one more right here. Once you've done that, no need to climb back up the cliff. Just try for it back. And mount back up. We're going to head all the way into the goblin area up top. We've got a number of hidden story pieces to pick up, as well as a few cooking ingredients. 
All right, inside these goblin bathing pools here, there's no way those are clean. In any case, investigate this bucket. That's the first part of hidden story number four. And from there, we're gonna head up into this area over here. Investigate the fire here. It's gonna be the first part of cooking ingredient number five. And make sure you examine the campfire again to grab a second ingredient. Once we've got that, we can mount up and head back around. And right up here is the next part of hidden story number four. All right, two more important things to grab. We've got the last part of hidden story number four and the other half of cooking collectible five. That's right here. Make sure you're grabbing two of each. And all the way over this way now, we find the last part of Hidden Story 4. All right, with that out of the way, we can triport back to the center. All right, with that, we are basically done with Parna Forest. However, if you have not done Probing Goblin Village, which is another Story 2 yet, let's go into that right now. So another Story 2 is given to you by Elder Baloo right here. However, there are a number of prerequisites which need to be completed first. Now, if you've been diligent in doing your quest and you've got all the yellow quests out of the way in the zone, this isn't going to be an issue. You're going to have already naturally come to it. However, if you've been skipping quests because you just don't feel like doing them, you're rushing through, or for whatever reason, you are going to need to complete a few specific quests first. I will put a link down in the description below which will have all the required quests needed to get to Probing Goblin Village. In any case, this entire quest chain starts with the Parna Forest Board at the Adventurer's Guild in Rania Village. So in that side area right here, if you remember all those Adventurer's Boards that have the optional quests in each zone, you're gonna wanna pick up the quests on the Parna Forest Board. That one is called the Madness at Parna Forest, which starts a quest chain which takes you up to a quest called Goblin Eating Monsters. You're going to complete up to that one, and then back at the Parna Forest. There's going to be a number of quests that open up from various NPCs around the Vine Grove area. Once all of those are completed, you can then talk to Elder Baloo and start the quest chain, which will end in Probing Goblin Village. With Probing Goblin Village done, you will now have completed another story number two. It's a bit hard to take in just listening to it, so like I said, there will be a write-up in the description down below, so make sure you check out that if you need to still complete another story too. But with that out of the way, we are all done with part three of the Adventurer's Tome Guide. Next up, we're going to head into the Vernies Forest, where we will finish off our Adventurer's Tome Guide of North Vern. Okay, and that concludes this portion of the Adventurer's Tome Guide. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss my guides and walkthroughs. And as always, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on what you would like me to create a guide for next. And until tomorrow, may you all enjoy your adventures in Arkesia.